If you use Canva, you've probably seen all the wonderful benefits and features it has to offer, but you might have also realized that it's missing some basic ones, including knockout text. What is knockout text? It is this where you actually have an element on top of an element and you subtract it so that the element behind is actually see-through. So this used to be a text on top of a white or a black box here, but now we've actually knocked out the text so that we can see through. You've probably seen a lot of designs on shirts, maybe if you're selling on Etsy, that look like this one here. The problem is when you're just making it in Canva, when you actually put this on a shirt, it's going to look a little funny if you haven't knocked out the text. So today we're gonna go over two different ways to do this, and each of them has its use cases, so you might wanna listen to both. So I'm gonna use this nurse one as an example. So I have the background set to white, and then I have the white text as well. I want both the background and the text to be white and we're actually going to save it as a PNG or you can save it as a JPEG. We're going to actually keep the background. So I'm not going to select this. I'm just going to download this file only, hit download, and then I'm going to open a new page and I'm going to bring in that file again on the second page. And now you can see here that this is all one file. I can't edit it anymore. It's just counting as one PNG file. There's no separate elements, unlike my original file here where I can still go ahead and edit it. But coming down to the second page, our full PNG, I'm going to click on this, I'm gonna hit edit photo, and I'm gonna hit background remover. Once this is done, it's not going to look different, but if I go in and change the background to this file, let me just move this out of the way. If I change the background, we can now see that the white is knocked out because it matched the background, so it picked it up as a background and removed it. And now if I wanted to a different color, then again, what I would do is I would make sure that the knockout color matches the background. So now I have white, I want to remove the black. I set black as my background and I put the part that I wanna knock out matching the background, same thing, save it as a JPEG. And then coming down, if you re-bring this in and then you do background remover, it's going to knock out the background and knock out matching colors as well. So now we have a white version of this design. While this works for simple designs and can be a great workaround if you wanna just stick within Canva, sometimes this tool can be really fidgety. If you have a lot of small pieces, it's not gonna knock out the right things. You can't add in additional knockouts. So your design has to be very, very simple. So what if this isn't working for your design and you will come across that if you're doing this quite a bit. There are some it just does not want to work for. So there is a backup which can handle more complicated designs. Like what if you want to knock out two colors? Maybe you were given this file and you don't have the ability to change the text. You just want to remove parts of the design and minus it from the background. Then we're gonna have to bring this into a new tool. So what we're gonna do this time is we're actually gonna save this one as a PNG file. So this one I'm going to actually turn on transparent background. I'm just saving this last page and then I'm going to download this. Then I'm gonna to go to photop.com. It's a free online Photoshop and for everything that Canva can't do, Photop can. So it is always open on my computer, I use it quite a bit when I'm making more complicated designs. So I'm going to hit open from computer. I'm gonna open up that PNG file. And now what I'm gonna do is at the sidebar here is I'm gonna use this magic wand tool. So I'm gonna click on the magic wand and then I'm going to hold the shift button so that I can select multiple elements at once because right now all of these different letters are different elements because they're separated, they're not connected. So I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna select the parts that I want to knock out. So I'm gonna select the K and you're gonna see this little dotted line that shows up and then I'm gonna hit the N and then I'm gonna hit the O and I'm still holding shift so that it's not selecting one or the other, I'm selecting all of them. I'm gonna go through all of the text and then once everything that I wanna knock out is selected, I'm just gonna hit delete on my keyboard. And now you can see that I have removed 
all of these pieces. And if you're missing any of them, you can just go back, reselect it with a magic wand tool and then hit delete again until all of your pieces are removed. And now bringing this back into my file as the PNG, we now have a transparent background and we can see right through the text. So making this bigger, I can see the sky going through it. And again, this works perfect if you have a more complicated design that Canva just won't do it for. All right guys, hope this helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and follow. It helped me so much and stay tuned for more tutorials. Thanks guys.